you grab those two tabs and pull them forward, you will finally get to bring all your family into the frame. Oh. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Thank you. Our family is complete. Everybody is home. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Hey, ABC! We're, We're the French family from Toledo, Ohio! Hi, I'm Aaron, I'm the dad! I'm Jackie and I'm the mom! I'm Mo and I'm 18! I'm Fabian, so I'm 17! And I'm Ju, I'm 17! <laughs> and I'm Max, I'm 16! Layden, I'm 14! <laughs> Miguel, I'm 13! <laughs> Connor, and I'm 12! Johnny, and I'm 10! Colin, I'm 9! Michaela, I'm 7! This, this is Dad! He's, he's three, three years old! Welcome to our home! Or as we say in Haiti, Bienvenue à Caillou! When Aaron and Jackie Frisch met, they knew they were a perfect match. They each shared a passion for helping others. He was a local firefighter and a paramedic, and she was a youth counselor. We began with three biological children, and from there, we have grown uh, by leaps and bounds. We went on a mission trip to Haiti, and that trip changed our lives. We came upon an orphanage, and we began the process of adopting five wonderful Haitian young men. And we have become um, an American Haitian family. This is my brothers and I, we're from Haiti. In Haiti, there's a lot of children in the street working around, they don't go to school, they don't have food to eat in the orphanage. We had difficulty knowing like if we're going to eat every day. We just didn't know we're gonna make it. If we have not been adapted, we will be like living on the streets. And when we saw them, we saw hope. But their good deeds didn't stop there. The Frishes realized that there were also kids back home who desperately needed their love as well. So they adopted three more boys from inner city Toledo, bringing their family to 13 people living in a small house. This is our living room. This is what we need to go through every single day in order to eat dinner as a family. It's all about making better lives for these children who have gone through such horrendous lives. And our heart's desire is to make the world a better place, one child at a time. And although space was limited, there was no shortage of love in the Frisch household. But two years ago, the family received devastating news. I've been diagnosed with Ehlers-Danlos which is a connective tissue disorder. And I have a problem with my joints um, dislocating and my connective tissue tearing. Because of that, I've had a lot of complications. They've had to remove all of my large intestine and I had a small hole in my heart. She had five major surgeries and then she had three strokes and was paralyzed on one side and couldn't talk. And we have been rehabbing her uh, since. Come on over and see the pond that my husband dug. When I was sick in bed and they didn't think that I was going to live, my husband thought that this would be a wonderful place for me to come out and be able to get in the sunshine and to be able to sit and recover. Because of her health issues, Jackie had to quit her job as a counselor. And now Aaron is the sole breadwinner for a family of 13. My wife, by God's grace, she is with us and recovering. But that has taken a lot of time and a lot of financial means. And that took away from the house. We've been trying to make some repairs, uh, but we're not able to keep up. The house is in disrepair and overcrowded. The walls are rotting, the foundation is cracking. There's no way they can fix things up without our help. Good morning, Frisch family! Aaron, Jackie, Frisch boys, come on out The Frishers are so deserving of this because not just that Aaron's a firefighter and, and mom is helping other kids, they reach out and help people who would never have the opportunity and, and they, they not just help those people by sending a check in, they help those people by taking them and putting them in their family and putting them around their same dinner table that their blood sits at. 
a hero is somebody who gives hope, and, and uh, Aaron and Jackie give, give a lot of hope. This is your house. This is our house. This used to be a one-car garage for this house, and it was wondering. converted. Okay. And we have two furnaces, and even those two furnaces can't keep up in the winter time. Yeah. With the, the illness that you're suffering, is that a problem? Uh, yeah, in the winter, my temperature goes down really low, and so I have usually have a electric blanket in each of the room, and the kids wrap me up like a taco and plug me in. <laughs> it works. Seriously. Yeah. yeah. Well, come on in here. This is our living what? room. <laughs> what? This is where we all sit together if we want to do anything. And if you count, the number of seats doesn't equal the number of body butts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so, everything is just like... Nothing in here has been bought. This is, this is hand-me-downs. You have to really hand it to Aaron and Jackie for the fact that they've done everything they can for these kids to give them a shelter. But the problem is, is they're stacked on top of each other. Aaron has, has hand-built some beds to try and give these guys living quarters. They've had to turn one bathroom into a pantry just to store the food it takes to feed that many kids. The house was not made for a family of this size. Well, check it out. The first floor, it's already done. The second floor, the joists are being installed, and that's a good thing, because before, the house was small. It was crammed. There was no room, and now we've created a lot of space. was just like, oh, this load is lifted off my shoulders. The house that we have been living in was not nearly big enough uh, for a family of 13. But this new house has room for us to grow, has room for us to play and to be a family. And, and this house is a brand new, fresh start. <laughs> First thing I thought about when I walked through the front door was, this can't be for us. This can't possibly be my house. My poor husband wanted to be the provider and the protector, and the house was falling apart right in front of him. But this house felt warm and safe. Now, my husband can come to work and not worry. He can come home and rest. That was what was beautiful about the house. Whoa! Baby! Oh, my God. <laughs> How sweet is this? Oh, man! Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey, oh. hey, come on, guys. Thank you, Liz. Yeah. Thank you, man. Listen, you guys are so awesome. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Thank you. you. Listen, I was talking to our friends over at HP, right? And they said they want to hook you up with some cool technology. So check this out. This is a new Touch Smart PC from HP. You literally can you move it with your finger, okay? You can access all of your photos, you can access music, and then you're gonna start a new uh, internet company, right? So you guys are gonna be busy, you know? This is gonna help you guys manage your schedule and nail all of your deadlines. By having this room, our dream's gonna come true, and we get to help Haiti. It was the coolest room I ever been into. We have our own thermostat. Oh, wow. Look at the green bed. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is unbelievable. Wow. And a four-poster bed? Oh, babe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh, no kidding. That master bedroom signifies a new start.
Now my wife can continue to get strong and recuperate in a comfortable house. And when her temperature drops, the house will be nice and warm for her. And this will help us to escape the past from the illnesses and surgeries and will help us to move forward and to get stronger. So you showed me this picture frame you had in the old house and it had nobody's photos in it because you're waiting till everybody was legally adopted. Yes. Here's what's cool. If you grab those two tabs and pull them forward, you will finally get to bring all your family into the frame. <laughs> Thank you. Our family is complete. Everybody is home. Oh, sweetie. The last three years have been really difficult, but I think that the emotional part was probably the worst. The whole family kind of knew the routine of, okay, this is what happens if mom has a stroke. That's not what I wanted for my kids. But yet, when I look at them now and I see how it has made them into strong, capable young men. I'm grateful that somehow through all that, something good has come out of this.